There are so many things that I love about you and so many things that you have brought into my life for the better. Every day you show me what it's like to exude faith and love and what it's like to live in the moment and enjoy the fresh air. I now live for our family and to support you to the fullest and to have God be the ultimate source of our truth and guidance in the future. I love you with every inch of my heart and soul and I'm so grateful for this day and lifetime with you. Thank you for being my soulmate, my best friend, and a blessing and role model in so many more ways than you will ever realize. This is from 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 9. Again, this is Paul writing. Paul said, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. Paul understood how things grew no matter what he did. He goes on to say, so neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will each be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service, you are God's field, God's building. Just as you guys planted a seed a long, long time ago, with you pursuing her and her having no interest in you whatsoever. <laughs> and then you becoming friends and then being good friends to each other's back whenever things were tough, reaching out to each other when you needed each other. And then all of a sudden it became more than that. And here we are today where you're getting wedded together. And then tomorrow it'll be something else and something else and something else. These seeds never end and God never ends his faithfulness to plant. And you plant and you water and he never ends his faithfulness to make the sun shine on it in a way that makes it grow. Father, in Jesus' name, what a privilege it is to unite these two in holy matrimony. Father, we're so excited about the life that they will live together, the things that they will do to strengthen and grow their love, and the light they will be to so many others who need to see you in marriage. So we lift them up to you. We all pray for them. We all commit to be behind them, to support them, to encourage them, to pray for them, to be with them through all of this. As long as we have breath, we promise to do that, Father. So we lift them up to you. We thank you for this union. We look forward to what you're going to do through them. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With the power that the state of Texas gives me, it's my privilege to pronounce you man and wife. Brad, you may kiss your bride.